<laughs> Tonight on Dave and John TV. It's John and Dave TV. Welcome to another episode of John and Dave TV. And John, you know what one of my favorite desserts are? Ice cream. I love ice cream. There's nothing more than I like of, of a cold bowl of ice cream on a hot summer day. What about you? I love ice. It depends on the ice cream, not the flavor. Because there's certain ones I will not touch. Really? Like what? Yeah. Um, I, pistachio. I'm oh, that's my favorite. Really? Yeah. So there's only like two kinds of ice cream I always go to. It's always pistachio or maple walnut or soft ice cream. Yeah. Maple walnut's always good. Uh, any soft ice cream. Even I, I don't even eat chocolate, chocolate cake or nothing like that. It's not even my thing. But then if it's soft chocolate ice cream or that twirly twirl mixed flavors. The twirly twirly mixed flavors. <laughs> I love that stuff. So... No. Guess who our guest is today? Uh, I have a feeling it's going to have something to do with ice cream in, in part Definitely of it. Definitely does. You want me to tell you? Or? You go right ahead. <laughs> Today's guest, we have Clark Berger from the Little Coffee Shop and the Scoop in Cobden. Welcome to the show, Clark. Welcome, Thank Clark. Thank you very much. How are you guys? Oh. We are very well. Excited now. We're going to talk about ice cream. <laughs> exactly. He already had a sugar rush earlier today, so now he's just on that high now. So Perfect. Uh, yeah. So tell us a bit more about uh, the Little coffee shop in the scoop the owner the owners themselves you're not one of the owners you're actually one no, of the workers I am there. one of the employees yes yeah. uh, so we have two owners it's a mother daughter combo and so their names are Melissa and Irene Given mm -hmm. uh, they bought it back in I think December or January it was okay. and um, they've just honestly made the little town of Cobden I think we have about a thousand people there now <laughs> um, they made it like booming honestly everyone knows about our different donut days and that kind of stuff so donuts, donuts. Yeah. <laughs> you know they had donuts and i live you're in just in for ice cream yeah. but donuts too yeah he was having a donut today so there we have a donut today oh perfect Jeez. yeah so yeah little town of cobden of course that's where i heard from it because one of our past guests jody got me on to right. them i've never been in there so uh how did you get involved into the scoop so actually my sister uh before they bought it my sister used to work there and uh i think yeah for the previous summer and so her name is Ella, and she uh, got the job as soon as they bought it. And then I guess she kind of like talked me up or something because somehow I got the job too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been working there since the end of May, start of June. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's been pretty good. Awesome. That's awesome. So little coffee shop in the scoop. What's the main difference between the two store? What do you guys sell? What do you guys do? Just tell, just tell me the store. Difference for it. sure. So coffee shop, it's more so like a little like cafe and the scoop, it's like you go there for your sweets, right? <laughs> and so yeah, the coffee shop, I mean, we have coffee. It's um, naturally sourced from I think a company called Fluid. Okay. And um, we get on the scoop side, we have ice cream from Kawartha and Chapman's. Right. And so um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of sweet and savory, but um, <laughs> so yeah, the coffee shop makes different sandwiches. We have like different specials every day. And then um, we also have donut days, which are on Wednesday and Saturday, which we have different varieties of mm -hmm. donuts. And yeah, that's pretty much everything's made in house. Nothing's brought in house. In. Everything. Yep. Very cool. So tell us more about the little coffee shop. We'll start there. Uh, tell us a bit more about the sandwiches. So what's one of the yeah, most popular sure. sandwiches? So the most popular one, which is also my favorite, <laughs> um, would be the breakfast bagel. And so we make our own bagels, actually, which oh, is no kind of different that. from everywhere around. Yeah. Um, and that really, I, well, I feel, that makes the sandwiches kind of stand out. And uh, so on the breakfast bagel, we have so the regular bagel. And you can either get, there's a regular, there's all dressed and then there's uh, I think raisin cinnamon as well and so you can get I think there's egg bacon and cheese on it so I think we get those for $5.95 so oh, cool. yeah not bad <laughs> sounds, a lot more, 
Sounds really good. What's some other products you got there? You got sandwiches, uh, donuts. Yep, uh, we do have, we make these little sausage rolls as well. Okay. They're oh, very good. Right. I get yeah. to test them. <laughs> and the um, the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then we also have just different lunch specials of the week. We have a Taco Tuesday as well. Um, right. Sometimes we have a roast beef sandwich, um, egg salad, tuna. It's kind of depends on the day for sure. And you can check out what we have that day from our social media. We have Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok as well, actually. And uh, see how it's- Getting really gang with the time. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting the youngins uh, in there. At least yeah. the first business I heard since this started that they have TikTok. Exactly. It <laughs> is. I gotta find them tonight First now. one on our show, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind and then what about the make. coffees? Coffees, uh, so we have all different kinds. Um, so basically just our, so you have your regular coffee, obviously. Um, and then there's like espressos, cappuccinos. Uh, I know the scoop also, we do make frappuccinos as well. Oh, cool. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of whatever you're thirsty for we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it, these all locally sourced products or yep. is it, uh, all imported from, uh, somewhere else in the world? Uh, no, most of the stuff we have is definitely from like around. Mm -hmm. So as I said, the fluid coffee is from yeah i think eganville area oh nice so yeah pretty close awesome. <laughs> and then I, I i was also wondering too is it just products like that or do you have other like we've had other vendors in here like okenny's who has other vendors products they're selling at their store do you sell yeah. just stuff that you make in-house or do you have other vendors have stuff in there that you can buy so or? the coffee is obviously from someone yeah. else but um all of our baked goods are made in-house and that's mm -hmm. all from us so very yeah. cool oh awesome so now we talked I think plenty of a coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. I like my coffee though. There's not like that morning coffee in the morning. I, I, I like my ice cream and I kind of look, you know, I was kind of hoping this whole show would be about ice cream, but it kind of I was trying to see how long we could go before he brought that in there. But. <laughs> oh, who doesn't like a good bowl of ice cream? That's fair. Anyways. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> What do you guys sell? Or how many flavors of ice cream? What can I expect coming in the door? And what else can what I find can in there? Expect? <laughs> oh, geez, it's like the Disneyland of ice creams, honestly. Um, so we have over 30 flavors. Um, oh, God. Which is, yeah, which is crazy. I first, when I first started working, I was like, are you serious? Like, usually you just go and there's like five or 10, you know, and it's like, oh, I'm just take this one. But now it's like we have, yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Some of the flavors, like I've never even heard of, like we have a cherry cheesecake. Mocha mm. almond fudge, we just got in last week, actually. Mm -hmm. I probably ate good. like half the tub already. <laughs> but, uh, and yeah, there's just, honestly, there's a whole pile of We should put them on the spot and give them the name all 30. Oh, jeez, no, do don't do that. that. My goodness. So how do you, now, do you guys have all like 30 or so out at one time? Or do you just pick, okay, today we're going to have this 10 out and uh, then so we have, swap them out as you go? <laughs> I mean, I would like it like that, yeah. but no. <laughs> uh, so we have a board at the front and uh, we have, so all of the flavors that we have, I think there's, there must be at least like 40 flavors on the board. And oh, so wow. we just fill in all the flavors that we have in stock mm -hmm. and so we have two freezers and they're always stocked with ice cream mm -hmm. and so we have there's ones on the top which the lids are off like easy easy access kind of yep. thing <laughs> um and then there's also ones on the bottom but i mean they're still easily accessible so they're all kind of there so <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i'm sure there's a lot of other kind of, is it just scoops of ice cream in bowls, in cones, or do you have other ice cream products that you're selling out of the So scoop? we have, um, so we have our two ice cream. So we have it sourced from Kawartha and Chapman's. And so there's a variety of flavors from each for sure. And then we also make milkshakes out of any flavor of ice cream you want. Uh -huh. um, Maple walnut milkshake. <laughs> mm, that sounds <laughs> She good did already. one of those last yeah. week, I'm not gonna lie. It was, <laughs> and I had to try some out there, obviously. I wanna see you try but. and get the walnut up the straw. <laughs> I'll make it work, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and then we have our soft serve as well mm -hmm. and then yeah our in-house made gelato too so oh gelato. I knew I gonna, as soon as you said that i knew your eyes were gonna open <laughs> is it is it's house made you said yes so how about you take me through the process how yeah, do you guys make sure. it so we get it um into a mix kind of thing and then so we have to take the mix and add so there's you can either have milk or water based yeah. and so depending on what it needs you either add your milk or your water and you have to stir for at least like five minutes probably and then from that if you have time to make the gelato right there and then you put it in the top of the machine and then it kind of just so you put it in then you have to 
mix it, and then from there, you have to, there's like an inject button on it, and so you have to make sure you get it in the bowl or else it's all over the floor. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of, it's fairly easy to do, but it's definitely worth it because <laughs> we have lots of people that want gelato, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love a good gelato. And I find it so refreshing, cre uh, re refreshing and creamy, <laughs> and kind of different from ice cream. The, I, I yeah. can't. The texture. And yeah, for yeah, sure. it's not creamy, like ice cream is creamy, no. yeah. Yeah. I, I, and, and your flavors for jollos or ice creams, they're always the same or can you have like different flavors when you go different so we experiences have, every week? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not every uh. week, but uh, we do have different varieties of flavors for sure. And so usually on hand, we have a coffee flavor and a green apple flavor as well. Oh, cool. And uh, we sometimes have, I think we call it the luscious lemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's, yeah, there's a few different flavors. We have a salted caramel as well. Mm. And uh, we're looking actually to get a few more in, so yeah. That green apple sounds good. Green apple's pretty good. <laughs> that does sound good. I've never been a salted caramel fan, so I'll go for the green apple. <laughs> so. so Everybody now is into these health kicks and everything like that, and yep. everybody with allergies and that. Yep. So is all, any of your products, do you have like lactose-free ones? Do you have like uh, um, ones for, like everybody's on these keto, keto diets yeah. or yeah. sugar-free or, sugar -free or, or there's uh, like, lac uh, not lactose, there's that other one too. Um, it'll come to me, but no, like do you have more <laughs> stuff yeah, yeah. for that kind of a so market? So for uh, dairy-free, we usually do um, if someone says like, oh, I have a dairy sensitivity or allergy, we always suggest the gelato. Mm -hmm. um, the water-based, obviously, because well, milk wouldn't be good. <laughs> um, but uh, so our green apple and lemon are completely free of any lactose or dairy. Mm -hmm. um, and then, free that was the other one I was saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we also have for cones, we have gluten-free cones as well. And... Oh. Uh, yeah, that, that's a whole other topic, our cones. We have so many cones. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> We have time for this topic. <laughs> Tell me what kind of cones you have. <laughs> uh, so, well, I'll go on. I'll tell you about the um, ice cream first. Um, but so we have uh, butterscotch, which is sugar-free. And that is, I think we make, well, we don't make it, but uh, it's made with Splenda. So it's uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. good yeah. for yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, we have, that one's, honestly, that one's a big hit for sure. Good. So, yeah. yeah it's a lot better because a lot of places are using aspartame and stuff instead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so that's a good alternative because I know aspartame gives me headaches. <laughs> I actually used to love Diet Coke and I had to stop drinking it and the headaches went away. Gotcha. All because of the aspartame. Oh, you see, I pretend you gave me headaches. I always thought it was you giving me headaches, but I guess it's not the same now. <laughs> Let's go back to the ice cream cones. So, yes. <laughs> well, the show's about him, not about us. Oh, ice cream, I love it. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, well, since you're so eager. Um, yeah. um, so. Well, I didn't even know they had different flavors. Not a <laughs> no, Don't it. you like, worry. Don't you worry. Different type of cones. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our regular. So obviously when you go into an ice cream shop, you can expect you have a bowl and then you have your regular like flat bottom cone too. And so we have additional to that, we have our waffle cones mm -hmm. and then we have dipped waffle cones as well. We have white chocolate milk chocolate, and then we have a sprinkle cone too. And around different holidays, we have different cones. I know for Canada Day, we did like a Canada Day sprinkle cone. Like I think we did, we added red dye to the chocolate as well. I think we have a marble kind of dipped cone too. So mm -hmm. oh, yeah, cool. depends on the I day. I get a waffle cone all the time. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I get the waffle cone. I get the waffle cone too. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind yeah. of my favorite. Yeah. My daughters won't touch it, but I get it. So. Uh, I also like the waffle cone. It's a lot less sweet than the other kind of. Uh, it kind of looks like a waffle cone mm -hmm. too, but I find it just way too sweet. Yeah. That yep. waffle just. I don't know. I don't find it too sweet. I find it's it a well good balanced. balance. Yeah. Sure. It is. So. Definitely. Yeah. Flavorful. Yeah. So, we talk about like the uh, the favorite product over at the little coffee shop, but yep. what about at the uh, at the scoop, what's like the top <laughs> go-to where people always get and you always run out of? And yeah, for sure. So our top one would most definitely be Moose Tracks. And so that one's like, it's like a chocolate and vanilla mix of ice cream with like a brownie swirl in it and then it has peanut butter cups in it as well. Mm. 
And so that one's like, because, well, first, when I first started working there, I'm like, what is Moose Tracks? Like, who would get <laughs> that? That sounds so weird. But uh, then I had a taste, and I'm like, okay, well, I see the reasoning behind this. Yeah. But uh, yeah, then we also have a black raspberry thunder, which is like vanilla ice cream with a black raspberry puree. And then I think there's white chocolate chunks in that as well. And then number three would probably have to be our salted caramel. Uh, yeah. Well, salted caramel truffle, I should say, because there is like chunks of truffle in it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, it depends on what you like because we have it all. <laughs> so as we're filming this, we bring this up every day because that's what the show's all about. We are still in COVID situation here where um, now we're luckily we're in stage three as all of Ontario here yep. is. And so, but going back to March, everything slowed down, things shut down. Yep. How did this affect you guys with, when the COVID hit? Yeah, for sure. So for the coffee shop side, we had uh, tables and chairs inside. And so once oh, everything yeah. kind of hit, right, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, well, clearly we can't do that anymore. So for the coffee shop, we kind of made it more so of like a grab and go kind mm -hmm. of business, which I mean, you could still go in and order, yeah. but it was more so just like you stay for your two minutes yeah. of like picking and getting ready and then you just leave. Yeah. And then for the scoop, I think would be the most dramatic change for yes. sure, because what for I think like about 10 years now with like previous owners and stuff mm -hmm. it's been you just walk in like you know you have the whole experience you go in like you pick your flavors and look at them but then with COVID it was like oh okay we can't do that anymore so what we had to do we changed out um, our door and so it's like a takeout window now rather than a walk-in oh. shop and so rather than people coming in, you just, we have all our flavors like displayed in the window. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, they just order from there and then we make it for you and just give it to you out the window. And honestly, it has worked very well. And like really cool. the feedback mm -hmm. from the community too has been like really good. They're just okay. like, oh yeah, you know, like it's good that you guys like adapted and it's mm, not yeah. it's better that instead like of like closing and stuff like that yeah. you guys found a way to do it and are making it work so you didn't have so. to close down at all you were able nope. to go through the whole thing yep now did you guys maybe install sort of like a patio out front yes we did uh we got some patio furniture out front out Side of the scoop, there's like two benches, okay. and then outside of the coffee shop, you have the whole like cafe experience. So you have your <laughs> little tables and chairs and everything, which oh, cool. uh, we sanitize like right after people leave and stuff, mm -hmm. which is just standard protocol now. So yeah, it's worked out pretty well. I don't know. I remember like back in the day. Well, back in the day, it's not that far. <laughs> but how the scoop was designed, we used to have this little kind of shaded kind of hall, like. Alleyway. I don't yes, know. It was I, I don't even know if that still kind of a, if that belongs to the scoop or not. It just kind of became what it became. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, just being able to sit there in the shade and have your ice cream. It was nice. It's, it's a nice ambience and alleyway. It just doesn't know. sound right. It's like no you want some ice cream. Get your ice cream <laughs> <in> alleyway. Yeah. <laughs> I had actually a lot of sophisticated discussions while eating ice cream at the scoop in Cobden. The, the personalities. You know, anywhere actually we go in the valleys, people are so friendly and so easy to talk to. And <laughs> I will while eating that. a good bowl of ice cream or a cup <laughs> of ice cream, you know, it's always nice to have a conversation. See, you're having intelligent conversations. I'm getting brain freeze half the time. <laughs> well, you can't your ice cream too fast. You oh, gotta enjoy I, it once in a while, John. So, um, so you said you were saying about the support from the community through all this stuff has so. been completely overwhelming. Like honestly, it has been absolutely amazing because people just like. Most, uh, when COVID first hit, it was, everyone was just, oh, stay home. We have to like isolate everything like that. But we have had the support with like everyone, they wear their masks and everything. And uh, they still come and buy and support our business mm -hmm. too. And so it's just been, it's been very like good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. So I remember going into there and I guess now you can't go in, but it used to be these bins all full of candy, different types of candy. It's kind of like going to a, uh, what are those, like a uh, little sugar mountain yeah, I know. stores yeah, here exactly. in Ottawa. Sugar mountain, yes, yeah. my daughter but loves that. Literally, they have like these old style candy that yeah. you, you, I don't you know like if you remember being the young. Bags or whatever? Clark probably doesn't remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember not. going to, you know, a little, little convenience yeah. store and getting your little bag and put yeah, candy in put it. The candy for, like, in and it. Yeah. and yeah. you would count your 25 cents and your 10 cents, exactly. how many candies you're able to get. Or you have get. to weigh it sometimes. Well, weigh. That's what they have. Oh, that's what they yep, used to they have. Used to. So yep. what happened to that? So when um, COVID 
first like affected us. We were like, okay, candy is not going to work. And so a lot of people, it was kind of like a sad time because it was like, oh, we want our candy. <laughs> but um, from that, we have now developed an idea what we're going to do from that because we do want to bring the candy back into the store. And so the Cobden Farmer's Market, which is on Saturdays, I do believe, we are going to uh, put a stand in there and have a sell different like boxes of candy, like depending oh, on what cool. size you want. And uh, so from there, when things start to like normalize again, we will add candy back in the store. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, candy will be available soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, yeah, farmer's market is kind of our first like step to getting mm -hmm. back to normal, but yeah. Now, we talked about the scoop a lot when it comes back to the coffee shop. Um, are you guys all just take out things like that or do you actually do deliveries too uh, so we actually don't do deliveries but you can place an order like ahead of time uh -huh. and then we can make it for you I know even uh, last night when I was closing up uh, they were doing a sandwich order I think they had like a delivery well not delivery uh -huh. but uh, someone was coming to get it the next day so it's just like yeah you can call place your order get what you want so no that's very cool yeah so COVID you know and We've seen so many changes across everywhere and, you know, everyone's business has changed, you know, and we talk how it impacted your store and how things kind of changed for that. But, you know, m like moving ahead, do you see any kind of like changes that happen because of COVID that's going to stick around for a long time or any kind of new procedures or, you know, how do you see the, like, like this developing yeah, yeah, in your sure. business? I've found even like honestly not just with our business but like even just businesses around like the cleaning protocols have like mm -hmm. went like from like 10 to 100 because mm -hmm. now it's just the extra precaution right it's like okay clean 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 everything has to be spotless mm -hmm. and so which I honestly think is like an amazing thing which it should have even been happening before and mm -hmm. now that it's like enforced it's like amazing that it's happening. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'd say cleaning protocols would definitely be the main thing that has changed and will stick. Mm -hmm. um, the grab and go is, as far as I know, like kind of just temporary for now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's kind of, yeah, pretty well. Um, anything else that has changed? Well, with yeah. the coffee shop itself, I like, I've sure you had it where people used to be able to come in and just sit down and yep. just, now have you started introducing that back a little bit because i know restaurants are now allowed to have patrons yeah, in sure. sitting down again as long as it's social distance yep. that. so have you guys introduced that back again since it's like summer and the weather's yeah. good we kind of have just kept our outdoor patio for now mm -hmm. and which people like absolutely love oh, yeah, for sure. um and so yeah we haven't added seating back in at the front yet um which I don't know the plans to do that yet, mm -hmm. but for now, yeah, the patio, the patio is working just like fantastic Perfect. for us. So, Perfect. Yeah. So we tell everybody uh, at the end of the, when we're getting to the end of the show, we'd like to find out more about how people can get in touch with you. Um, so you were, you were mentioning some of the places they can find you yeah, on. Yeah, for sure. So why don't you give a throw to the, where they can find you, not just where they can find you, but what your tag names are. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, you can find us, uh, The Scoop, on Facebook as just like The Scoop Cobden. And then we also have, I think, uh, the little coffee shop I'm not as familiar with mm -hmm. as uh, when I actually got the job at The Scoop. They were very, um, like they let us be very hands-on mm -hmm. and it was just like, you guys can, it's almost like we run it, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it's like, we take stock of all the flavors, we run like the social media and that kind of stuff. So I'm more familiar of the scoop side. Um, okay. But uh, this, so for, we also have TikTok yeah. and we have, we've made a few, I think we have about 17,000 views over oh, like geez. all of our videos. Ooh. So that's kind of... We're going to have to get him to market this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should get on TikTok. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. People are so entertained by just like making like even the, the twirly twirl, you yeah. know, just the... <laughs> no, that's good. That's, so that's um, yeah, yeah, they just, it's, I mean, it's fun. Website? Honestly. So uh, our website, we have, it's in like the developing stages right now. Mm -hmm. And so that'll be available in the next, I'd say, couple months for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Instagram is just the Scoop Cobden as well, and uh, so is TikTok. So basically, scoop, so. find the Scoop, you'll find the little coffee shop. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. You see exactly. one, you have the other. <laughs> <laughs> Really yeah. cool. Yeah, no, I'm glad you came. I'm glad yeah. you came too. And I'm actually glad I learned something. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Because totally I've never been in there before. So I'm glad <laughs> that um, I'm learning more about it myself because I know my friend Jody raves. That's where she goes to get her coffee every morning. Yeah, for sure. Uh, when she's at her Cobden location there. And you live down in Cobden. I live in Cobden. So, Cobden, you know so I've the been place. there actually quite a few times. And I'm pretty familiar with the place. Yeah. Maybe they don't recognize my face because I'm not the, like a weekly customer, but I'm there <laughs> once in a while. Yeah. Once yeah. you get in there, they'll recognize you with the beard and everything. Well, maybe yeah. now, you know, <laughs> we have one of them on our set. Now, hey. You, you'll be one of the ones that has to put your beard in the face <laughs> in mask. The mask. Yeah. yeah, well. <laughs> you have to, have to bring, I had to bring to the it show. Up. You I never let it. it go. But no, I want to thank you, Clark, for being on the show. Yeah, well, we enjoyed having, having you here. Thanks for, uh, I mean, the knowledge you have is for a person who just works there. Not many employees have that much knowledge. And just of a started place. while COVID started. That's exactly. Kind of crazy. No, I think that's <laughs> what a time awesome. To start thank a you for job. coming and telling us all about it. Yeah. And yeah. hopefully, nothing but success for you guys in the future. And thank you very I'm much. definitely going to have to go down there. Yes. Awesome. And for our viewers, we'll see you again next week with a new exciting guest featuring a business that's local to us here in the Ottawa Valley. Till next time. See ya. Got to add that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think that